Okay, this is part one of a series of tests in the Triphasic Training Recovery Manual. The testing protocols that we're going to use has two parts to identify those parts and then there'll be two prescribed exercises you can individualize for a person's current needs on their vestibular system reset that will then help them shift into a parasympathetic state, balance out these two autonomic nervous system states the uh, parasympathetic and the sympathetic, and they can get greater results out of any recovery method, not just the ones recognized in this book. So the first one to figure out your individualized vestibular activation reset, we're going to call it the VAR from this point, is the Fakuda step test. Now this is a pretty simple test. The test will look like this, and I'll show you the test general, and then I'll show you a positive right and a positive left. But um, I did not edit these videos, so what you're seeing here is an athlete starting this test, arms in front, out, and the athlete will stand and basically going to march up to 50 repetitions till they find uh, whether they go to the left or right. Sometimes you find it on the third, fourth step, which, which way they're dominating too. And here's just an example of what's happening. So this athlete's actually going straight. Now, and I'll address the um, what you do if an athlete's straight, maybe at the time you're testing. He may be straight for at that point, but then what you would do is you would test him after a workout to see which one would be a positive, um, sh you know, positive test. So athlete might actually be pretty sound and straight before the workout, but then after the workout, you'll find that they'll push one way or the other. So then you have to retest them after the workout if you can't get a positive. Um, but again, that's just what the uh, Fakuda step test is where we're going to go next, uh, remember, try to do this, in a, you're going to do it with your eyes closed in a quiet room, and here's the reason for the quiet room. The quiet room is uh, important because if there's a sound in the room, the athlete can actually find that, and then they can actually uh, realize where they are in space with that noise, if they know where the noise is coming from, identify it, and and you'll get a false test, not even a false test. They'll stay neutral, and they won't get a positive or, net, or a, a positive right or a positive left. Um, this is how the whole vestibular system works. Now, um, again, as I said, do it after a workout if you can't get a positive right out of the uh, right out of the start with this particular test. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'll basically shows you a positive right test, and it's not that hard to um, to come up with but yeah so this athlete started the test and you can see as they march he's slowly turning to the right it won't probably happen that fast this is for demonstration purposes but again you see they start marching and they'll start shifting and, and usually about 25 to 30 steps you, you always get uh, some f foundation of, of what they're going to the right or left um, the once they get to a certain point just tell them to stop or if you know hey this guy's going right for sure you can tell them to stop so that's the first part of a positive, that's a positive test to the right, which is important because you'll be able to identify these and go right or left, and then you can prescribe your specific protocol for this particular person's brain. So then the next thing we're going to do is we can go to the, here, here's what a positive left, it's just to the other side. I will show you this, however, but this athlete, Again, it's the same athlete, so this, this isn't true. This is just an example. But you can see how they would turn for a positive left. Okay, I don't think we need to review that anymore. But these are two positive results, um, the type of po test results you will get. So you will perform the test, okay? Uh, Fakuda is a step test. You can look that up on there. There's plenty of information. I'm not covering it in this video. But again, this is for the EA, uh, VAR, which is the Individualized uh, vestibular activation reset you do that before this before all your protocols this is part one um, you'll find the videos in the manual in part two um, you have a positive right which will basically implement the exercises for the right positive or a positive left in the first part of these series of two exercises to fix and reset the uh, vestibular system so that you can get greater recovery uh, with your body and the recovery methods work more effectively.